What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the remove property function inside the manipulations functions collection. So similar to set property and add property, remove property allows you to take a property out of a JSON object that you're passing in. So maybe you need to pass an object from one system to another, again, in one format. Um, some of the properties in there you need to remove out before you pass it on, uh, maybe for security reasons, maybe because the other endpoint doesn't need it. Uh, this function allows you to do it. So let's take a look at it today. So in Power Automate here, I have a manual trigger flow, and then I have a couple of variables. Let's find the first variable. We can see this one's called object of person and it's of type object. And we can see a simple JSON object here, which contains the properties first, last, and email with the values Dean Herb and Dean Herb at Contoso.com. So what we are going to do is we're going to remove one of these properties. So we go down to the compose box down here, flip into there, go to expressions, scroll all the way down until we get to manipulation functions. And there is one here called remove property. And for this one, we are only putting in two parameters. We are putting in an object, and then we're also putting in the property that we, remo we are removing. It says returns an object with a property removed. It's nice and simple. So we click remove property, goes into the expression editor at the top. We can click on direct content. Uh, we can switch over to the uh, object of person. So that's the object that we are passing in. And then we put a comma and a single quotation mark, and then we'll put in uh, last. This should remove the last property, sorry, not the last property, but the last property in this object, as in this last name here of Herb. So we click OK. It goes into the compose box there, and we can test this out. Click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. Run the flow. Click done run successfully. So we can see this object initializes with these values. So first Dean, last Herb email address, deanherb at contoso.com. And then we can see in the compose box that we have that last field removed, that last property removed. So we have first in Dean, email is deanherb at contoso.com. But we do not have this last property, the last name Herb here. So we've removed that from this object. Now we can do this with a parent and child object as well. So it's similar to like what you've seen in my last couple of videos about add property and set property. We have a, a parent child object here where the parent is person and these child um, properties are first and last. We can still remove these. So if we click into here, go over to expression editor and we'll just type in remove property. We'll open some brackets. We'll Click over to the uh, uh, to the dynamic content, which is getting rid of the pop up there, which is always useful. Um, we can click child person, so that's bringing in the object. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open some square brackets. The square brackets will allow me to tell it what type of property um, we're like the the parent of the property we're removing. So if we open some single quotation marks and type in person, so that's this parent property here, then we can um, go to the end and we'll add a comma in and then some, another single quotation mark and what we will do is we will remove the first here, so this first name and we'll click OK. So that's going to there, so as you can see it's remove property of the object, uh, we are passing in the name of the parent property and then the property to be removed is first here, so we should not see red at the top. So once we are happy with that, we'll just double check some data has, we can test this out. So click test, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done, and we can see that this has done this parent child property here with Fred and Flintstone. Then when we open this one, we only have the last property here of Flintstone. So if you watch my last video on the um, set property, there was a way to actually include a nested, um, a nested 
expression into this so that you would still get this full object out. I've had a play around with this. Uh, I've had a look at the documentation for this. I can't find a way to include that in just this function uh, if there was a way to like nest it. Uh, there's probably a way to do it by again using the set function and then um, nesting this inside the set function. Uh, but not just using this function alone. You would need to do some other ma manipulation of the data to do that. But I hope this was useful because, again, this is a very powerful... I think all three of these functions are very powerful in terms of passing data between one source and another or clearing up some data or getting data from other sources. Removing data entirely is very, very powerful. So, as always, I want to know what you guys are using this for. Let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on social media. All my contact details are at the end of this video. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. That is always appreciated. It helps me get more views on these videos and helps me produce more videos. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.